Welcome to our lesson on solving quadratic inequalities. So to solve a quadratic inequality, we're going to use a sketched graph. And you can see we have x squared minus 1 here. And we're going to use this graph to solve this inequality. So x squared minus 1 is less than 0 is the inequality we're going to solve. And this is the graph we're going to use. So you can see the difference between the two is that y is less than 0. So these are the points we're going to look at. And these are here, below the x-axis. And you can see on the graph that when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0. And when x is equal to positive 1, again, y is equal to 0. So the solutions to our inequality are when x is less than 1, but greater than negative 1. And we can write this as a solution where x is less than 1, but x is greater than negative 1. So this is our solution to this inequality. And for question B, now we're looking at all the points that are greater than or equal to 0 which are here and here. And you can see from our green lines that our x value include negative 1 and they go less than that and they include positive 1 and go greater than that. So our solutions now, x is less than or equal to negative 1 and x is greater than or equal to positive 1. Okay, let's try another question. So we're going to solve this inequality and we'll need to sketch a graph. So we're going to sketch a graph of y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8. And to do this, we need to find the values of x when y equals 0. So we'll solve this equation. And we can solve this equation by factorising. So we need two numbers that multiply to make 8 but add to make 6. And these are positive 2 and positive 4. So when y is equal to 0, x will equal negative 2 and x will equal negative 4. So this is our sketch over here. We have negative 4 and negative 2. And when x is equal to 0, y will be 8. So this is a sketch of our quadratic. And we've been asked to find the solution for other points which are less than 0, which are here. And we know that when x is equal to negative 4, y is equal to 0. And when x is equal to negative 2, y is the same. So our solution are all the points less than, than negative 2 but greater than negative 4, which we can write here. x is less than negative 2, but greater than negative 4. Okay, let's try some more questions. Do you want to try and solve these two inequalities yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we're going to sketch a graph of y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 8. We'll solve this by factorising to find the roots. So we have x minus 2 and x plus 4. So our roots are when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to negative 4. And we'll use these to sketch our graph at negative 4 and positive 2. The intercept will be at negative 8. And the part A, we're looking at the points greater than or equal to 0, which are here and here. So x is equal and greater than 2, and equal and less than negative 4. And the part B, we're looking at all the points that are less than 0, which are in green over here. So you can see that x is less than 2 but greater than negative 4. Okay, let's do one more question. So do you want to try and solve this inequality? 
You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we'll sketch a graph of y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3. It's a little bit more complicated to, um, to solve for 0, but we'll have 2x in one bracket, x in the other. We need two numbers that multiply to make a negative 3. One of them is doubled, which will go here. So we can have negative 1 and 3, or 1 and negative 3. If we double the negative 1 to make negative 2, and then add the 3, we will get the positive x. So we can find our roots when each bracket is equal to 0. So x will equal negative 3 over 2. And x minus 1 will equal 0. So x will equal 1. So we can sketch our graph with roots at negative 1.5, which is this one, and when x equals 1, which is this one. And the intercept will be at negative 3, which you can see here. And the solutions have to be less than 0, so we're looking below the x-axis. So we have less than 1, but greater than negative 1.5. So this is our solution. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.